Hey, how's it going, brother? How you doing? Good, good. Uh, you got a couple minutes just for a quick interview? Yeah, no problem. All right, excellent, man. Uh, before we get started, do you mind if I record this conversation just so I can reference you in our notes? No, nah, man, that's fine. All right, cool. So essentially, we're just looking for basic questions. Uh, we're not looking for, you know, any, like, sweet spots or anything like that. But um, it's just, like, a general overview of, like, the lakes that we do. And then we feature, like, the local angler and, you know, enter a few quotes from them as well as their pictures. So, like, after our conversation, if you have any, like, high resolution pictures or uh like pictures on your phone that you want to send uh you know you holding a bath or whatever fish you may have caught in out of blank Athens, that'd be cool but uh so what's your background in fishing man um background in fishing is i've been pretty much fishing my entire life <laughs> there's really no start to it ever since i was a kid i could hold a fishing pole my family's been taking me out fishing um i've pretty much fished everywhere in east texas uh starting at lake athens believe it or not and I've went to Lake Palestine, Lake Nacogdoches, uh, Sam Rayburn, uh, Lake Martin, just all over East Texas. I've pretty much fished it. All right. Heck yeah, man. Uh, and you've been running their YouTube channel for probably like a few years now? Uh, I think it's going on two years coming up. Yeah, I'm just trying to squeeze in a fishing video every every chance I get. But with work and school, you know, it's hard to fit in a video at least once a week. Yeah, I feel you there, man. Oh, that's awesome. You're doing that. That's excellent. Yeah. So on uh, Lake Athens, what do you primarily go for? Is it mostly bass and crappie, I would imagine? Uh, yeah, mainly bass and crappie, and Lake Nac- uh, not Lake Nacogdoches, I'm sorry, uh, Lake Athens, uh, has some really nice-sized perch in there, too. Me and my family go out there, and we do a bunch of perch gigging a lot. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, do you guys, uh, usually use live bait, uh, for bass and perch there, or is it, like, a mix of, uh, like, lures and, like, plastic worms and stuff? Uh, usually if we're fishing for, like, bass in particular, it's just lures. Now, if we're fishing for crappie, yeah, we'll use, like, live minnows on a bobber and stuff like that. But for bass, largemouth bass in particular, it's usually lures. Alright, cool. Is there a, uh, sizable kayak presence on Lake Athens? Oh, yeah. Is it mostly, like, boats or, like, a little bit of kayak, too? Oh, no, it's it's a pretty good amount of both. It's a lot of kayakers. The the rise in the fishing kayak has really, like, skyrocketed here in the past couple years. So anytime you go out there, you'll see a good number of kayaks uh, hitting the water. All right. And uh, you said you uh, usually go by boat, though? You usually fish on, like, uh, your family's boat? Yes, sir. Heck, yeah. Uh, let me see what kind of questions I have for you. Uh, is there much... Like, uh, the area around that lake, is it accessible by, like, foot, or is it mostly, like, residential property and, like, docks and stuff? It's mostly residential property, but if you go down to where, like, the RV park is, there's a good amount of section you could walk and, uh, fish from bank. And they got docks. Cool. Is that where, uh, I mean, when you guys are bass fishing, are you guys usually just, like, punching the bank wherever there's, like, structured, like, submerged timber around that area, or is it mostly just, like, you guys fish the docks? Uh, Lake Nacogdoches, I mean, sorry, I keep saying Lake Nacogdoches, <laughs> Lake Athens, oh, uh, Lake Athens has a lot of grass, a lot of fallen timber, and a lot of structure, so if you're ever fishing in the banks or anything like that, you can always hit the grass, hit the grass beds, uh, you can always find fallen trees and stuff like that, so it's just, it's a whole th- amount of stuff you could fish from. Alright. Is the, uh... I'm looking on the uh, one of our charts here. Uh, it shows that it gets like around like 30 feet deep in that lake. Is it deeper than that at all, or does it fluctuate? Is I think the different? deepest I've ever seen on our graph is about 30, 35 feet. So yeah, it, I mean it gets fairly deep. All right. Uh, what would you say the best time to fish that area is throughout the year? Um, I'd say probably uh, spring, fall type time. Uh, during the summer is usually pretty good, but it just it just gets so hot out there that not a lot of people try to attempt it. But during the spring and fall, when it's a little bit cooler, the bass are just blowing up like crazy. That's the perfect time for top water, uh, hitting those grass beds, especially under the docks because Lake Athens has so many docks from houses. It's just crazy. So anytime you throw like a jig or a worm underneath those docks, you're almost guaranteed to have a bass every time. All right, excellent. Uh, have you seen any? 
major environmental changes uh, since your time fishing there? Like, uh, like has the water dropped drastically, or has there been like any like uh, blue algae blooms or anything like that? Uh, I haven't seen any blue algae, but the grass and moss have definitely come up a lot, which I wouldn't say really impacts the uh, the, the the fish at all down there, because that just gives them an extra place to hide, feed, stuff like that. But uh, over the past years, we've had like a fluctuation of water level going up, down, up, down. Because we have some summers where we'll barely get a drop of rain and that makes the water level go down a lot. But then, you know, with all these hurricanes that we've had, we've had a good amount of rain come through. So I think now, last time I checked, it's 99 or 98% full again. So it always comes back around. All right, cool. Um, one last question. Would you have a... Any advice to visiting fishermen, like any kind of like hazards to look out for or any kind of like local knowledge to be aware of? Like Athens? Um, if you're just coming to Lake Athens, uh, if you ever go in the coves, definitely watch out for uh, sunken trees and stumps like that because they like to hide and they're hard to see. But if you're really just trying to find a spot to fish and catch bass, my best recommendation is hit those grass beds, hit under the docks because every time we go out there, that's what we hit and we always catch giant bass. All right. Thank you, Eric. Thanks for all the uh, input you provided, man. Uh, pretty much all the questions I have for you. Um, they were planning for this uh, publication to come out around Christmas time, but it might be pushed all the COVID stuff. So maybe, uh, from what I was told, it's probably going to be around like springtime is when they release the publication. And uh, I think they're trying to get them into like Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops in uh, Texas first, and then they're going to like, try to get them like Walmart and stuff. But, uh, yeah, keep a lookout for it. Uh, I sent you our website, right, scmaps.com? Yeah, yeah, you sent it, and I checked it out, and I really like it. I'm, I'm, never, I'm surprised I've never heard of y'all before, but that looks like really good stuff y'all got going on there. Yeah, they're, uh, they're based out of the Midwest. The guy that runs it is out of uh, Minneapolis, and uh, he's been doing it, I think, for like a couple of years now, and he did a lot of like the Midwest and Northern Lakes, and now they're trying to branch out towards uh, Texas, Florida, and like, you know, throughout the, like, the West coast of uh the united states but uh yeah they're they're doing it right man he's trying to make it like one of the best uh like fishing map guides that like people can refer to and they're also making an application like a phone app for it too but uh dude thanks again so much for all your uh time and the input they provided and if you want to shoot me a picture uh they usually post like a picture uh for like for like a photo reference so if you have like a big bass picture or catfish whatever you want to throw at my way uh you can send it to me and i can send it to the publisher and i'll put you uh in there for lake athens oh yeah for sure bro for sure and if y'all need like any other info on any other lake around this area please uh feel free to shoot me a text or a call and uh whenever this is published do you think you could send me a link so i could have it definitely man i uh i have you on instagram so i'll probably uh post something and i could like directly send it to you uh, what other lakes are you familiar with, uh, or that you fish, like, normal, or, like, on a regular basis? Uh, Lake Palestine would be another big one. Uh, here, Lake Nacogdoches, since I live around this area, Lake Nacogdoches, Lake Marval, um, uh, I know there's another one, I just can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but, uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, any lake in East Texas, I've pretty much fished it. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm covering... Well, like, uh, the ones I'm doing right now are actually edits of a lot of the lakes in the East Metro area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I have, like, a list of, uh, lakes that I'm going through. So, I might contact you if I come across, uh, Lake Nacogdoches. And, uh, what was the other one you said you were fishing? Uh, was it Narvel or? Uh, Lake Marvel, uh, Lake Nacogdoches, Lake Palestine. I might be covering Palestine too, but uh, I'll definitely contact you to pick your brain a little bit about uh, some of the other lakes that we have on our list. Okay. But, uh, dude, I really, I really appreciate it, and uh, I'll reach out if I uh, come across any of those lakes. Oh, bro, no problem. Anytime. I'm glad that you even consider me. It's awesome. <laughs> and yeah, I was just scoping through hashtags. I mean, that's pretty much how we find most of our anglers. You know, we're just looking through hashtags uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and anybody that has like any kind of like knowledge of uh, the lakes or even like fishing pictures, we're just reaching out to. You. But dude, thanks again so much. Oh, bro, no problem. You have a great day, man. All right, you too, bro. Thank you. No problem. Bye. What? What? <laughs> that is crazy. That was uh, that was Patrick right there, and um, he's with this company. It's called SC Maps, and what they're doing is they're putting together 
uh, info about all these lakes around every state, pretty much. They're trying to hit every state, and right now they're working on Texas. And here's it's called Sportsman Connection. So if you ever want to look it up, it's Sportsman Connection, and they're put pretty much putting together a whole guide of maps of lakes. Uh, they choose anglers, and somehow they got a hold of me and wanted me to do a little background about Lake Athens, which I fished there a bunch of times. And they just go through and ask questions about how, what to fish there, what to look for, what are the hazards, stuff like that. I mean, you, you heard the conversation. And this guy hit me up today asking if I would do a phone interview. And I was like, heck yeah, I'll do a phone interview. I mean, hell, why not? Why wouldn't I? But uh, guys, that's just crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. That's awesome. Um, I really didn't plan to make this a video until I got all this information today and then he just called with the interview. So I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't really, you know, fishing, but it was an interview for this company and that is just, that's just so, so cool guys. Like I never thought I'd be doing an interview for a uh, sportsman connection company like that. That's just awesome. And you heard him, they found me through a hashtag of Lake Athens and saw some of my videos, photos, stuff like that. And decided to do an interview that's just crazy so once again uh the website uh he said the texas catalog supposed to come out sometimes in spring because the covid pushed everything back of course but it's uh the sportsman connection that's what it looks like on the page really cool stuff y'all should go check it out if you ever get the chance i've been looking through it and it's really cool they uh they don't have texas posted yet but they have a lot of other states uh illinois indiana kentucky minnesota Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Wisconsin, so all those places they got so far, that's 13 states they've got so far, and uh, you can find retailers, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, just pretty much stuff like that, it's, that's just awesome, wow, what, what an opportunity, that is, that is great guys, but uh, that's pretty much all I have, definitely go check those people out, it's really cool stuff, uh, once I get the link, I'll post it on my YouTube page and my Instagram with my interview and everything like that, guys. But I really hope you joined the video. I love you guys. Because of you guys and me making these videos, y'all make stuff like that possible. So once again, I love y'all. Thank you for all the support. For everyone that watches and comments on my channel, I love y'all even more. Oh, God, y'all are awesome. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxion channel. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.